What? You what? Lockdown's over. What, like, properly over? Boris said we can go out on that. No way! Woo! Woo! Yeah! I'm off camping! I'm off camping! I'll see you all later! I'm off! I'm off camping! I'm, I'm calm! I'm calm! I'm calm! I'm calm! I put my clothes back on! I'm calm! Where are we? I put my clothes back on! I'm calm! Look at that! Look down! Look down man boobs! I'm calm! I'm calm, but I am going camping. Yes, I, Mr. Pussycat. I am absolutely buzzing. And as promised, we're not just going to go back into, you know, local woods or we're going for it, proper going for it. I am literally going to have a mission around the Lake District from morning until night, I am going to explore as much as I can explore. And I'm going to camp on the top of some hill or mountain or next to some beautiful town. I don't know, but that's the joys of wild camping. This is what we live for. You know, I'm gonna get my bag on, I'm gonna go into the Lake District and we're just gonna be free. And guess what? I'm not alone, no. I'm going with the man himself Mooster Outdoors! Woo! Oh yeah! Now, Mooster, you've probably seen me shout him out in a couple of my videos and, and whatnot, and on my Facebook group is always about. Now, me and Mooster have never met in person, ever. And I feel like I've known him years. He's a legend. He is a legend. If you haven't seen his channel, give it a um give it a view, give it a check out. He's an absolute legend. Same as me. He's had his battles in the past. He tries to do these videos to make other people smile. He's an amazing man and an amazing dad. And he's an absolute crack. Like he's got such, he's bonkers. Um, so it's going to be a good laugh. And uh, we're going to go explore the Lake District together. And we're going to go on a good wild camp together. Because we know that it makes sense. Good morning everyone. It's nearly five o'clock in the morning. And we're about to set off to the Lake District to meet Mooster. I said I'm going to do a full day exploring, and I mean a full day. So, I'll do a little stop and get some breakfast, and with that stop, probably get there after about 8 o'clock-ish. Uh, I'm not putting the camera on my face right now because it's so early, and I'm, I don't want the flash in my face because it's still dark outside, as you can imagine. But it's all worth it. Committed to the cars, and I'm absolutely buzzing. So let's get there to meet Booster. Oh yeah, hold tight, yes I. What can I say? Living the dream. <laughs> Living the dream. Stunning. My first glimpse at Lake District. I thought you'd seen before. Never been before. Moosted outdoors is here, look. Hey! <laughs> oh, unbelievable. It's 20 past seven in the morning. Me and Mooster are walking around Lake District. It's what the dreams are made of though, isn't it? That's what dreams are made of, eh? We have a nice walk around, explore, uh, and camp and dance and sing and drink and live the dream. Hold tight. Just been informed that this is Slater's Bridge. The oldest bridge in Britain, eh? One of them. <laughs> One of them, if not the oldest. Vikings and all that jazz coming over there. And look at that behind it. I think this is what you'd call the future. <laughs> Beautiful. One of the oldest bridges in Britain. And this here, you can uh, 
you can swim in this. Mooster was saying that he had a picnic just on this grass bank. Just getting in for a dip, cool off. Stunning. Look at this where he's brought me. Cathedral Caverns. Wow. Woohoo! Woo Look at that. Let's go inside. <laughs> this has got to be the biggest cave I've ever seen. So anyone that's seen the film, Snow White and the Huntsman, this is where they come through in the film. Through here, down here, and just look at that. Wow. I've never seen a cave like this. <laughs> it's, it's actually surreal, it's something off of a film. Well, it is off a film, isn't it? Snow White and Huntsman. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, is it packed normally? Look at the formation on the roof. You want the climb up? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the climb up there. They're brave. That's that that there. It looks like you know, like the fake rocks you can get. Well, I'm doing this with camera, so you can get all rock formations in and... <whistles> I've never seen it like it. I think I owe you a bit of a thank you, Mooster. <whistles> Beautiful. Honestly, can never, I can say I've never seen anything like this, ever. Mooster doesn't know if he's brought his light now, look. Oh, he's found it. <laughs> Beautiful. Lost for words. That's amazing, isn't it? It looks like there might have been a waterfall or something there. I know there wasn't, but do you know we're like... It might come down. As you come up here now, you can walk down that there. That, yeah. That look in the cabin. And if you go on that side, you just go down the cliff and there's another, another cave up you can go in. Yeah. And it's like quite dark, so that's why I need my torches. And it's just, uh, I'm going to show you, there's, a, there's, a, there's like a fence, but stopping you from going further. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think, like you say, if someone like me, um, or the regular person were to come to the Lake District, they wouldn't know this, would they? No. You'd have to know. You'd like proper looks up. Looks yeah. Up. Finding it as well. Because uh, people like me, you just got Windermere, or you got a Keswick, or yeah. and you just stay somewhere around there. But yeah. this, this is <laughs> amazing. We're good to go. Oh, oh no way! It's pitch black as well, isn't it? Oh yes, we're off caving. I'm following you. Eh? Hey? Right. <sighs> Oh my goodness, as if we're going caving. <laughs> oh wow. See how dark it is in here. <laughs> I can't see you. <laughs> I can't see you, Booster. <laughs> it's His hair look. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, there's a barrier look.
I was here for a reason. Yeah. Look at it, mate. Wow. Someone's been over it because we've got family in there. So, waiting for it. Literally having to duck through caves, it's amazing. And then we're just about to come out to the opening. I am chuffed a bit. This is me all over, look how low it is. And then you come out of the cave. <laughs> Have a day off. Unbelievable. What a... <sighs> Has day just started? <laughs> so this here, this is where we've just come back out of the cave from the other end and it leads out back to this place. So now we've just stopped, you know, caving and exploring like absolute exploring legends we are. Like Doris, like Doris. Like Doris the explorers. <laughs> La Rapida! <laughs> this here, what you can see, the viewers from the top of that are being told are amazing, is that right? Yeah. Sealt Tarn and everything. Sealt Tarn and everything. And that's where we're going to camp. You see Chapel Style, you see the Langdales. Langdales. You see the Bowfell, you see Crinkle Crag. You'll see the lot. You'll see the Crinkle Crag. <laughs> <laughs> Crinkle Tarn. <laughs> Crinkle Tarn. Crinkle Tarn, yeah, you... The new, the new one that's just been made, that'll be after Adam got a pair. <laughs> <laughs> Crinkle Tarn. Crinkle Tarn. <laughs> but imagine what the... This video's just got started. We're going to wild camp up there. And you're coming along with us. <laughs> you're coming for the ride. Forget Alton Towers, this is the ride you want to be on. Oh yeah. Started our ascent. I've got his bags on. Moose has got his walking sticks. <laughs> and we're about to head up Lingmore Fell. Oh, and we're gonna get onto the summit. And we're gonna explore. We're gonna enjoy the views. And we're gonna find camp. Now buzzing for it, mate. Are you Moose? Oh, I can't wait. It's what we live for. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a bit of wild camping. Because, as the fell wonder would say, <laughs> it makes sense. Oh, yeah. I'd say I'd see you at the top, but I'll probably bring you back before. Hold tight, let's ride. All right, yes, I, Mr. Pussycat. That's what we're going up. Aye, that's where we're going. That, that's what we're climbing. The camera doesn't do it justice, though, does it? Yeah. Hey, look at that one. What's that one there? It's what? Oh, yeah. That's a big one, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we're going at the top of that one. And we're going to put the... We're going to do a summit camp. Is it a summit camp? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a summit camp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, we'll get pitched up. <laughs> Just up first. Small stint at mountain. And we've already got that view. You can only imagine what views we're going to get as the higher we get. I think I've fallen in love with lakes already. It's a scorcher of a day. Now we've just got to tackle this. Oh yeah, look at that plane thing there. 
It's our quiet day is. Oh, we're stomping on. It's a, it's a steep one. But when you got things like that to look at, it does make it a bit easier. Oh yeah, look at that. We keep going. Woohoo! Push it out. Push it out. I'll tell you what friendship's all about. We've got halfway up the mountain, halfway, you know, it's quite steep. <laughs> Mooster, bless him. Obviously he's got asthma and whatnot. It's got a few years on me. Still fit as a fiddle like, but you know. Left his sticks. I says, where'd you leave them? Right at bottom. <laughs> so I'm off to go get them. But do you know what? I don't mind, mate. Moose is having a rest now. He was struggling a little bit at the beginning, which he always does until he gets going. And I feel all right, so help each other out. So I said, I'll go get your sticks, pal. You'll get some rest. So I'm going to go get his sticks. Hoping they're still there at bottom. <laughs> I'll bring you back once the stick story is complete. Bingo. Got his sticks. <laughs> He needs them to set his tent up. I've got your sticks, Mooster. I'm on my way back, son. I'll tell me what. Just, just found this little bench that someone's made and just sat here looking at this. Lake Windermere. Something, something tan down there. Hills everywhere. The Switzerland of England. What a place. Don't get along, disappoint me. You didn't disappoint, Mooster. Uh, You've exceeded. Brilliant. Me and Mooster have been getting some pictures, some snaps up here, and it's obvious to see why, isn't it? I mean, look at this. We're not even up yet. We're not even up there, are we, Mooster? We're still. Woo! <laughs> Big shout out to the Wing Canton boys, Ethan, Luke. Get your send down aisle Alpha Hotel and pick some Lucas here because you know it makes sense. keep these videos as real as possible and the reality is right now is I'm, I'm blowing out my ass he's here now he's mooster it's an hard mountain this but we're not far off summit in it love it right let's summit this thing oh yeah here we go Oh, mate. Yeah. Woo. Look at this. Thank you very much, Mooster. He coming up, he's summiting it. He's summiting it. Woo. Here he comes. Summiting Lingmore fell. Got your sticks, look, you nearly left him. Oh mate, is he? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Get your hand on summit, son. And that's where we're camping over there. <laughs> it, it nearly went as he got to the top. 
There you go, mates. Well done. Oh. Lingmore fell. Done. Woo! And this here, this tan, that's where we're going to head. And that's where we're going to find home. Yeah, that's where we're going to find home, innit? Home is where they used to bring you roses. <laughs> And what we'll have there is all these views, won't we? Yeah. Wowzers. <laughs> It'd be criminal not to show you guys this view where I am now. So that's Bleetan. This is where I'm stood, obviously. And that's the town we're heading to. Set up camp down there. Amazing. This is the spot where I want to give a big shout out to Hell of a Walk. Elliot at Hell of a Walk. Obviously, I'm not going to screenshot our conversations, but we talk morning to night. And a lot of that time is about the Lake District because it's Elliot's favourite place. Um, he's just a man. Um, and I put a post on not long ago where Elliot sent me um, sent me some fish and chips from the oldest fish and chip shop in England because I was asking loads of questions. Anyway, uh, I was asking him loads of questions about the Lake District and uh, he was telling me about Grasmere and he was telling me about this little shop that sells you know, the best gingerbread in the world. And then I started asking about this shop and I started asking about the gingerbread because that's what I do, I ask questions. Um, and would you believe it? Two days, yeah, knock on the door, parcel. I'll put some pictures on now. And he'd sent me, he'd bought me and sent me some of this gingerbread from this little shop that he was telling me about. And he don't ask for shout outs and he don't ask for me to praise him he's just a genuine guy and you'll see that in his videos i'll leave a link to him to his channel in the description him and his lovely wife they make me smile they make me cry as well when you watch the endings you'll know what i mean get me every time but thank you buddy thank you for encouraging me to come to the lake district what an amazing amazing place and you're a true friend Cheers to that. Change of plan. This is our B&B &B at night. This. Looking at that. That'll ding dang do. We've just cracked a beer, me and Mooster. What have you got there? Northern Monk, Twist Edition, Mangoes on with Faith. Sounds like the future. I'm just on Brew Dog. Here's your jam. Cheers, just, bud. Cheers, buddy. And we're just taking in these views, look. So this is where we're going to sleep, and this is what we're going to wake up to. It's mad when you say <laughs> it, isn't it? <laughs> it's mad. That's what we're going to wake up to. Uh, we're not going to set tents up yet. It's too early. We just thought we might as well make a day of it. Took us time, didn't we? No, oh, because I'm a knacker. <laughs> Mooster's blaming himself, but didn't bother me. Nice just to uh, stroll. Fun. There he is. Nice just to stroll and just take it in. So we'll uh, we'll chill out, have a beer, and uh, we'll bring you back when tents are up. Mr. Yes I, Mr. Pussycat, keep it real with Ian Beale. Look at this. Good out car today. And I brought like a army ration pack for Mooster. And he says, here you are, I've got you a gift. Look at that. With his logo on it. Mooster Outdoors. So. And it's been used. It's been used as well. I mean, does it come any better than that? You used to be pee cups right now. <laughs> <laughs> if you told me it hadn't have been used, I wouldn't have used it. <laughs> Only using it because it has been used. So here we are, look. Living the dream on top of this hill. Or fell. Look at that. Do it like the Vikings did. Now this. Drinking out of the Mooster Outdoors cup. Look at that.
the future. <laughs> Perfect, that isn't it? Right, this is what it's all about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mooster's channel in the description. Put a link to his channel in general in the description. And I'll also put a link to his latest video in the description. It might be this one, it might not be this one, depending, but he's been out all week and he's put a load of new videos on there. So, whatever his latest video is, um, I'll put in the description. But Mooster Outdoors, check him out, like and subscribe. You will not be disappointed because you know it makes sense. The fireworks? Just getting set up now. We'll bring you back when camp is set. Tell you what, I've had some uh, setups in my wild camping journey, but I think this beats them all. So there's my tent, of course. That's my view tonight and tomorrow. Come round. And she is really simple yet again. Foil sheet, head torch, charger, warmer clothes, big house mat, OEX, minus one comfort rating, sleeping bag, seat to summit pillow, job done. Got all my food here in that bag, and that's my leave no trace bag. My rucksack's just under that bit of a porch area there, so that'll never get wet. And of course, so when I wake up here, I'll go, oh, good morning, everyone. I wake up, I come outside, and bang. That, my friends, is what you call a setup. And here's Mooster's setup, the Lanshan 2, which I'm really in. Pressed with Flame Creed. Flame Creed. Lunch on two. There's two walking sticks that I come up with. You've got one that side and one completely parallel. As you can see, that's your structure. Ground sheet. Really impressed with the structure and how spacious it is. And these doors that is tied up here, they come out and make a porch as well. You can tell that it's not cheap with these. I always go back guy ropes, you know, if you've got good guy ropes, yeah, you know. They're always a good idea to get new guard ropes. I mean, they're all right, but, yeah, they're, they're all right, aren't they, then? The pegs are not up for much, but, as I say, the only thing is you have to seal the seams and you know these bits here. Yeah. Because they do leak if you don't, so you make sure you do them. So you seal these here. Yeah. Right, all yeah. Around. There's, there's not many, I think it's the, and the tie point there, and the tie point there, and they couple it back, and that's it. And then you're ready to go, but I've had it up twice now. And been good. It's been fan dabby dozy. He's got the same sleeping bag as me in there, look. Yeah, they've got the Happy days. Three, three FUL um, mat as well, what I got off AliExpress. It's similar to the firmware. And that's the UL80 mat, sleeping mat. Off and I've got to admit, good. look at this, that little table. <laughs> but I've got to admit, that mat is comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Had a little go on it. And that chair, what's the chair again? Psychology. The college chair, it's got the orders for your beer at the side or whatever you want to put in it. And it is small, compact, and light, believe it yeah, or not. It goes down to nothing. Good setup, mate, that isn't it. Yeah, and then, of course, the most important thing look what it's facing. <laughs> That's your view in the morning, mate. <laughs> and there they are together. Perfect. And that's for tea. And Mooster's very kindly let me try his jet boil. So I'll let you know how it tastes. Here we have it. Sausage and beans. Ten minutes. No cooking. All like that. 
Easy. It's hot. Oh yes. Look at that. Lovely. Bang on that. Nice. Yeah. To say what it is and how it's cooked, it's mental really. Bang on. I know what you're all thinking. Why is he not dancing? <laughs> Let's dance. Just having a beer with that sunset and a good beer and a chat with Mooster. It's been a good one, hasn't it, mate? It has, it's been lovely. It's been really relaxing. No stress, no rush, just relaxing. No rules, no plan, really. It's just nice and do what we want and look at that. So I'm going to say good night to you all now. And I'm going to try and get some footage of the sunset. And I'll leave you with that. And I'll bring you back in the morning. And just remember, at the end of every day, the sun goes down. Well, that's not bad to get out of tent, is it, Booster? Hey, the... No, you. No, <laughs> that, no forget that. <laughs> oh, mate. Morning to you all. And this is not the end of the video. We've got a nice walk back. And we're going to go a different route. I'm going to go past Blee Tarn. So when I was stood on top of that hill... And I was showing you Blee Tarn from above. I'll put a picture on now. We're actually going to walk right by that and show you it. So there's still more to come. But I'm having my coffee first. Can't believe I'm saying that. I'm having a coffee. I feel like a man. I'm a man now. <laughs> I'm a proper camping man now. <laughs> One coffee. Yes, I. See you soon. So there we have it. That's where I camped, right where bag is. That's where Mooster camps, right where his bag is. And as you can see, leave no trace. That Sainsbury's bag, which we used as the rubbish bag, I've got that here. Hot bottles and that. And I'll just go straight into the bin when I get home. Leave it as you find it, guys. And then more of us can get out and explore this without being judged and whatnot. Leave no trace. One thing about the lakes well you don't have to but for what we want to do and and whatnot you got to put the graft in to to get the, the right place so it's hard but it's a nice sense of achievement once you've done it onwards and upwards literally upwards bloody hell I've never seen a sheep like that. Look at fur. You are the sexiest sheep I've ever... Have you ever seen a sheep as sexy as that? Look at it. She's like that sheep. All lads must want you. All other lad sheep. Look at her ass. Is, it a Is that a camel? Oh, it's a sheep. Oh, look, she's running. She's a belter. 
So that's Side Pike there. That's another one of the Wainwrights. There's a road down there. East Enders. Do 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 and then Alpha Moon comes out. What a place. Side pike. Mooster's just coming up here, look. Beautiful. And we're heading to Bleetan. Next oh. part of the hurdle is to get past this, along this ledge. <laughs> fat man's agony as it's known, and I am a fat man. It's also known as a squeeze. The squeeze, right. Let's have a laugh. Suck in. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I'm not that fat. <laughs> oh yeah. I have to get through, yeah. I'm a big fat whack me. What is it with Lake Districts? Why are all sheep fit? I, I, fit sheep, nice mountains, lovely tarns. It's the future. Mooster's up there somewhere. I've come down after over 24 hours on the mountain. I've finally just got off of it. Not saying it's a good thing that I'm off because it is amazing up there. But Mooster should be down anytime soon. Head over to Blee Town, which is just there. And then on from there, a nice walk back to the car. Still more to come though, more to come. So here we are at the beautiful Blee Tarn. The times you've seen this has been from up there. But you literally walk on this path and into the forest of Blee Tarn. Now, who wants to see me come back here? I'll make a deal. If I get 10 new subscribers from this video and 50 likes, I'll come back here in a couple of weeks and I'll do a wild camp here at Blee Tarn. You know what to do. So I'm just at this uh, beautiful little stream here and it's his last stop before the car and um, it's been epic absolutely epic and I really hope you've enjoyed it because we certainly have Um yeah been brilliant wait a minute <laughs> Moose had just thrown water all over his head. Water body. <laughs> on about an emotional, talk about an emotional ending. <laughs> 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 
that that just sums up how it's been a good crack good laugh it's been brilliant um like i say i hope you've enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed um it helps me to help others we do this for for a few reasons but the main reason is to let people know that it's okay to not be okay and to please speak out if you are suffering in silence um my mission continues now before i go i want to leave you with one last clip um after this I, I didn't know when to put this clip in and i'll put it in right at the end just it's just something about who i'm dedicating this video to and why um so yeah thanks for watching adam it wild yes i mr pussycat I'm not gonna get too much into it, details wise, or anything like that. But I just wanna dedicate this video to, to somebody. Um, and that somebody is, is Craig. Um, unfortunately, a couple of weeks ago, uh, an old pal of mine from the pub that I used to live in, he unfortunately couldn't find another way out and took his own life. And, uh, a lot of my close friends are related to him and Boovies, Teresa, Eze, all my thoughts are with you and rest in peace Craig mate and I dedicate this video to you and to the family and if you are suffering in silence it's very real unfortunately it's very very real Please speak out. I'll left some numbers for some charities in the description. If you want to inbox myself, tell a friend, tell a family member. If you are suffering, just please, please speak out. All my love to all the Craig's family. Rest in peace, mate.